Hey there folks, welcome to Sumit Academy and to my series on English grammar. In this video, we shall learn about three very small but important words in the English language. Words we use in almost every sentence that we speak or write. Let us learn about the significance of these three small words called articles, when to use them or not use them and study some examples. First of all, let us define the word article. An article is an adjective, which is any word used to modify a noun. A noun, as we know, is the name of a person, place or thing. Usually, adjectives modify nouns through description, but articles are used instead to point out or refer to the noun themselves. The English language has two types of articles, definite and indefinite. Keep this in mind. Now let us look at the definite article and that is the word the, T-H-E. It limits the meaning of a noun to one particular thing. For example, when I say, let's read the book, I mean a particular book and not just any book. Let's see another example. The clerk at the office was very polite. Here it means a particular clerk and not the other clerks. Got it? Take another example. I studied at the University of Delhi. Here it means a particular university I studied in. Of course, if you are referring to the fact that you studied at a university without referring to any particular one, you will say, I studied at a university. Why a and not the? Because you are not being specific about the university you studied in. Let's take another example. Are you going to the party this weekend? Yes, you got it. I am referring to a particular party, not just any of the thousands taking place this weekend. Now, moving on to the indefinite articles. These take two forms. It is the word A when it comes before a word that begins with a consonant and the word N when it comes before a word that begins with a vowel. Okay, let me let me repeat it and show it to you a little more detail. Firstly, if the noun starts with a vowel, what are the vowels? A, E, I, O or U. So there are five vowels. Now when a noun starts with a vowel, it will use N. A and N. Secondly, if it starts with any other alphabet that is a consonant, then you will use a. Now that's simple, isn't it? The indefinite article a, a indicates that a noun refers to a general idea rather than a particular thing. For example, you might ask your friend, should I take a gift? To the party? Your friend will understand that you are not asking about a specific type of gift or a specific item, but whether it will be good to take a gift. Now, if you are not being very specific about the party and just ask, should I take a gift to a party? That means you have not specified any party. In general, you want to know whether to carry a gift when you go to a party. But remember that the indefinite article appears only with singular nouns. 
Now let's see some examples. Somebody call a policeman. This refers to any policeman. We don't need a specific policeman. We need any policeman who may be available. Here it is not important which one we are talking about. Now let's set some rules for ourselves. Now these are the rules of English grammar for the use of articles. The first rule. Use the article A or N to indicate any non-specified member of a group or category. What do I mean by that? Let's take an example. I think an animal, A E I O U, so an animal is in the garage. Or we have to rent an apartment, A, an apartment. We can also use A or N to indicate a single number. For example, I have a dog, meaning I have only one dog. Similarly, you can say a boy, an apple, an email, and so on. You get the idea. The second rule, use the definite article, the, with any noun, whether singular or plural, count or non-count, when the specific identity of the noun is known to your listener. For example, the apple was the apple was juicy and delicious. Why the? Because your listener, your reader knows which apple you are referring to. Or thank you for the advice you gave me. The specific advice you gave me. So I use the word the article the before advice. Now, let's go on to the third rule. For things in general, do not use articles. There are other uh, situations where you should not use an article. For example, trees bear flowers in the, in the spring. Now here, I notice that a lot of people write, the trees bear flowers. Not required. Just say, trees bear flowers in the spring. Now, since almost all trees bear flowers in the spring, none of the three articles are required to be used. Let's look at another example. He was asking for advice. Now, since he was asking for advice in general, we have not used any of the articles. Take another example. I do not like coffee. That is, I do not like coffee in general. So, no article has been used. Well, let's move on to our fourth rule. It is important to know when to use articles and when not to use them. Now, I will list out the cases where you should never ever use an article. Before a proper noun such as Sumit or Anil, etc., it is not the Sumit, the Anil, just Sumit and Anil. Then names of most countries, and I repeat, most countries such as India, China, Sri Lanka, Pakistan, there will be no article before there, before these names. But we will use article for countries such as the United States. Sports. We do not use any article for when we say cricket, hockey, wrestling, etc. Languages such as English, Hindi, Tamil. It is never the English or the Hindi. No article is required. Academic subjects such as mathematics, English, or geography. Please never say that you study the mathematics. You study mathematics. Do not use before uncountable nouns. For example, you can say 
pollution is a problem. Now, so why do we say pollution? Because pollution is uncountable. But you can say the pollution in Noida is a problem. Why? Because we are talking about a particular location. That is, if you talk of pollution in a location, you use an article. If you talk of pollution in general, then you do not use any article. Remember, you will never say there is a pollution in Delhi. That is incorrect. Rule 5. Always use articles in these cases. Number 1. Names of river, seas, oceans, etc. Like the Indian Ocean, the Ganga, the Yamuna, etc. Names of deserts, gulfs, forests or peninsulas such as the Amazon Forest, the Sahara Desert, the Thar Desert and the Gulf of Mexico. Again, jobs such as an engineer, a doctor, a lawyer, a carpenter, etc. Your, my son is a, an engineer, right? He is a doctor. Well, there are many other ways you can or cannot use articles. But I feel that we are now capable of using articles in our everyday life and writing. Keep the above rules in mind and you will be swinging. Well, that's all from me on this video on articles and their usage. My next video in this series will be on parts of speech. And do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel so that you do not miss out on my future videos. In the meantime, do write in with your suggestions to sumitacademy20 at gmail.com. Cheers.